All right, hi, Gemini. Okay, so right as we come into your season, all of these things are out in the open. Sorry if you hear noise, but my windows are open. Um, it's revealed to you what you seek in validation um, and how that influenced your plan. And now you're going into that plan and deciding more importantly what is, what you, no matter what you do, there will be recognition, um, some greater than others. And you want to put your, you might, you may have dis decided that two of pentacles from last month, I believe, regardless, I'm thinking of the two of pentacles and it's you being able to m manage multiple things at once and you're becoming much more in control, feeling much more powerful. Um, and that is exceeding you this month. Then there is this other part of it where you need to either have this conversation with yourself or someone in your life is very, very outspoken um, right now. Mars is also in Aries. And it's having you, it's forcing you to take a better look at everything you've accomplished and where that's not giving you the freedom in what you desire or what you're wanting or where you need more freedom or where you need to take a look at even more clearer in a different way possibly. The beauty in this is that you are fulfilling, excuse me, yourself enough where Taurus season communicates through the body and it's possible that you're now in a very receptive place to see even more clearly that your vision has to, what your vision has to do with and what understandings you've come to because of that and how that ignites your passion and your movement forward. There will be parts this month where you will have deep insight and then there will be parts this month where you need to act. So you'll have this equal balance between yin and yang this month, but if you want new things to come along, there will be action required internally, acting upon what you find out, not acting upon the opposite but really acting upon what you find out and then it'll almost feel like out of nowhere this different opportunity this different money source comes your way because that's how Taurus works when you do it well and you decide in this direction and if, especially if it's meant to be or meant for you it will then reap reward and benefit it will reap more energy all of that is a benefit to whatever you're going for regardless of what you do you need energy right so I know a lot said in just a few minutes but it's you are connecting so much more with yourself and by the new moon comes around which the new moon will be in your sign and then excuse me um mercury will then go direct in taurus by the third of june and i say that because everything up until that point is requiring you to be more understanding of the shifts happening in your mind because you of all people know that but you feel very it's very it's more easy to take things personal in other signs than yours but even though that being that saying something about you you also understand that there's a lot said regardless of the weight that it is to what's being said. It might not feel as heavy right now, but I think you're in a place where you're feeling things in a very equal thing. But no matter how you choose to take what is being told to you, whether it is through a spiritual nature, if you're gaining insight in your own self or self-realization, or if it's someone else um, saying something to you, it's this understanding of whatever concept you've come to isn't, um, uh, what should I, how should I say this? It needs more structure in your input. Um, you're being asked to work with your hands a little bit more, not just with your mind. And Mercury is very much with their hands too. It's very dexterous. So it's also asking you to protect the bubble that you're in and protect what you've created because that's when it's gonna give you more control. It's not about fear, and fear and protection are different. The way I see protection is 
the way you develop protection for yourself is how you love yourself from a to all the way from toxic love to unconditional love and those can be intertwined love is very interesting and has a spectrum to it but once you start to put up boundaries and have that unconditional love for yourself and choose differently the protection around you begins to change and you're beginning to become even you probably feel more protected and for some of you you might become pregnant at this time and you find that very protective nature just comes very uh, naturally during this time um, and that's also with a creation of you if you're an artist or if you have created something with your hands or if you own something um, even your household how you choose to create and who you choose to let in to these intimate spaces is becoming a little different you never you may have not have seen it this way but now you're seeing it this way and you're choosing to go for it and when you go for it you really do and if it no longer works in the future you'll shift it then but for now it's working for you and it's working for the side of you that doesn't feel um quote unquote pressure whether you're immature or known to be mature immature gemini you feel much more inclined to protect yourself this month again going back to that scenario where you may have committed to something external but on that day when it comes internally you feel way more protective of your energy go for that um the fear of missing out you even if you go to something you could still miss out if you're not totally there and you're needing to give your attention to yourself it's something i've learned over the years and that's something that's coming up for you in this reading it's very important to excuse me hold on one second i mainly what i was going to say is that the more that you find that you protect the bubble that you're in and you be in your sense of creation your sense of self no matter how quick or how sometimes the realizations comes quick and then the work comes quickly and you spent maybe you're up all night one of these nights just letting it all out it's just that's how that's that's how it may happen and the sweeter that you keep your bubble the sweeter this month will be if you don't then this month might be a little tricky it might be harder to manage all of the insights that you're having all of the awareness about abundance all this overwhelming reception that you could be feeling could be more over feeling of overwhelming than it is about excitement and use it, utilizing this energy for your benefit and recognizing it as something that when you have this flow of tears of joy for some of you for other others of you it will be tears of not knowing until now but one thing that one of my uncles used to say who is an aries is that you only know what you know now and that has stuck with me but it's also that when those that overflow with of the cup is those overflow with of the tears of joy even of that understanding that this beautiful life that you're in you you being someone who is unafraid for the most part to do this do that is you get to taste all the different sweetnesses of life and that's your ultimate sweetness for some people it's longevity in the same place um but for you it's staying in the realm of like this I like doing this up until here I can go through the hard stuff too and yet things doesn't matter because still those things are going to change and things will change and different problems or different situations will arise you get that more than ever now and I think that's only going to bring you a lot more um prosperity for your future it's just being willing to take this hermit energy into Virgo season to really um, attain the fruits that have become rather ripe for you. To speak your mind because everything that you've learned from Taurus season is now seeping through you. So you may find that you're not the loudest one in the bunch. You're either not or you are. There's no in between this month. And for some of you, you're learning to find the in-between. I know that's a lot of different scenarios, but it's just the truth in the world that we live in and the Gemini situation. So there's something that you begin and there's something that comes to an understanding. If there's a Virgo in your life, there may be this deep understanding um, and this deep love that you guys have had for each other and now is that much more expansive because they see you for who you really are and you don't doubt them for who they really are and it's actually really beneficial to and also is kind of the catalyst to begin this whirlwind at, towards the end of the month towards cancer season that full moon in Sagittarius I think will be extremely important for you okay 
I know I feel extremely long-winded <laughs> in your season. I haven't felt like this in a while, and I will see you next month. Thank you.